Hey guys, I am currently in Singapore. This is my first time serving a quarantine and I got slapped with the full maximum three weeks. And so for anybody who's been through quarantine, you know that it can be quite challenging, especially in terms of maintaining your physical fitness um, and also your mental health and your emotional well-being. So I wanted to make this video of the top 10 essential items that I am using that is really keeping me on track. I hope that this is perhaps useful for those of you that may be having to go into quarantine at some point or even just in your daily life. All right, here we go. The first thing would have to be a journal. And it's just so that you can get your thoughts down. For those of you who journal daily already, it's a really great habit to get into, whether you do it first thing in the morning, like a brain dump before you even start your day, or before bed as a gratitude journal. And write down, you know, the things that you are grateful for that day, or even whatever challenges that you went through. Journal's a good idea. So when I first knew that I was going to be stuck in a hotel room for 21 days, my immediate thought was, oh my gosh, how am I going to exercise? Because it really is very important for me to make sure that I exercise every day. Because exercise is the only thing that really makes me feel strong. When my body feels strong and stable and balanced, everything else is better for it. I, my head is clearer, I'm able to work, I'm more creative, I sleep better. And so I was very lucky to have a room big enough where I can actually use this space to roll out my yoga mat, which I bought from Thailand. So make sure that you bring a yoga mat um, because it's multifunctional. I got this at Decathlon, it was super cheap, and I got the really lightweight one because when you're traveling, you're not gonna want a really heavy one, um, but it really depends on you. So. My next essential is still gonna be along the lines of fitness, but these are gonna be more specific um, equipment, like my jump rope, which I must say I hate. I'm so uncoordinated when it comes to jumping rope. It is a work in progress but it's a really great alternative for cardio um, when you're in a hotel room because obviously you can't run. So this really burns the calories really fast. And then I also have a selection of resistance bands. These are all just stuff that I got from Decathlon again. Um, this is non-sponsored by the way. <laughs> um, this is also a really great strap from my friend Aaron, Everyday by P. So what I'll do is I'll usually split up my workout. One day would be cardio and abs or jump rope. Another day we'll be using these resistance bands for lower body booty workout. And then another day will be upper body and arms. And so I also have these water bottles <laughs> that I filled up um, and they make good weights. Obviously not as heavy as what I usually like to use in the gym, but it'll do for this time. But actually, you'd be surprised how great a workout you can get just by being creative and using these resistance bands. And you can pretty much find any kind of workout on YouTube. My next essential is to bring something that you can be creative with. So really depends on what you like. Um, I like to sketch and so I have with me my little um, art station right here with my coloring pencils and sketchbook. I think it's really important that you also spend some time doing something creative. Now it can be anything, obviously if you don't like to sketch, um, maybe you make music or I don't know, crochet or <laughs> just find something that is a hobby where you actually create. And there's so many courses online now, even if you are not an artist, where you can learn. And I'm actually taking a Procreate course right now because I'd like to move from my usual pen and ink onto digital illustrations. It's all of a sudden finding time to take courses that you would never have time to do as well is also a great way to spend your time while you're in quarantine. My next essential would have to be books. So I actually brought um, quite a few books with me because I knew I was gonna be here for a while. Um, and it really depends what you like. I just finished 
um, City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. Wonderful story, beautifully written, took me on all sorts of adventures. Um, I'm also rereading this Artist's Way, which is a, an international bestseller for those of you who haven't heard of it. It's a great book to unlock your creativity. You can tell that's kind of the theme for my quarantine is tapping into uh, my creativity and really taking this moment of solitude and quiet <laughs> to rekindle some of the things that I used to love. And so I'm rereading this and doing the exercises, but basically spring reading material. We're so used to just flipping on this TV or scrolling through social media that especially in a time where you're stuck, it's really important that you take time off your screen. And so for me, it's really important to be mindful of how much I'm actually on the screen and taking the time out and reading. And I highly recommend a physical book. Nothing beats having the feeling of a book in your hand and actually turning the pages. Because again, if you're trying to get away from screens, you're not gonna wanna read on Kindle or on the iPad. It's just, it's not good for your health. So my next tip, bring your favorite candle. Even though it's heavy, I guarantee you it's worth it because every time you smell it, it makes you think of home. I made the mistake of only bringing the one. As you can see, it's already empty <laughs> because I've got it lit every day, all day long. So if you can, bring two of your favorite candles. I promise you, you won't regret it. My next essential would be anything that you usually take in terms of vitamins and supplements, make sure you pack them. You're not gonna wanna forget those because especially when you're in a time where you're not getting the variety of foods or the ability to go out and mix up your diet like you usually do, you're gonna wanna make sure that your body is being supplemented um, and is kept as optimal health as you possibly can. And so as you can see here, these are my personalized vitamins. I had my hormones and blood checked. So these are from Body Conscious. I have issues with my hormones. <laughs> and also just other um, supplements. This is ashwagandha, it's really great for stress. So if you are coming into a situation where you may have higher levels of stress and anxiety, like being in quarantine, you might want to pick up some ashwagandha. Melatonin is also a good thing to help you sleep as well. I'm also a big tea freak, and so as you can see, I have a selection of lots of different teas, peppermint, chamomile, ginger, and this is also a favorite of mine. This is um, Superfood Chocolate Blend, so it's actually a cocoa drink, but it's got lots of 16 superfoods in here. No sugar, no cholesterol. All right, what else do we got? Ah. And now I brought you into my bathroom to show you my other essential, and that is essential oils. <laughs> so I have my little stash here of lavender, must have. Great to just drop on your pillow or rub on your temples um, before going to bed. It just really calms and relaxes you. Um, this is also a great one, Stress Away. Also helps um, relieve stress. Love this one, Digize. I am prone to indigestion. So when I feel that like tightness in my stomach, I have a few drops of this and immediately it's like a release and I'll probably burp, but it's a release. Also bring your favorite bath oil just because it's a really lovely thing to do at the end of the day um, to have a nice warm soak with some bath oil. So, that's my other essential, our oils. My other essential would have to be, make sure you go ahead and pack a variety of outfits because you're gonna wanna change your clothes multiple times during the day. One, it helps you get out of this lazy attitude or mindset that you're just gonna stay in bed all day. You don't wanna do that. You wanna get out of bed and get some work done or move your body or you know whatever it is, don't spend all day in bed because that's not good for your head. And two, it lifts your mood, um, especially if you have cute little outfits like this or colorful clothes. So my go-to quarantine outfit are Thai fisherman pants. You can't beat the comfort level and the cuteness of Thai fisherman pants. A lot of people prefer sweats. I will take fisherman pants over sweats 
any day. They are super stylish, super comfortable, and I, in my entire closet at home is filled with them, and I've brought some of my favorite ones to wear during quarantine. So make sure you take a shower, get out of bed, and change your clothes. The other thing I can't, can't, can't live without are my fitness apps. So I have a few apps. Some I pay for, like um, Asana Rebel. So Asana Rebel is a great app for yoga. There's plenty of different um, apps out there. It really depends on what you want. And you don't always have to pay for it because there's plenty of YouTube videos as well. But I, I really liked um, the selection that they have here. So you can see there's exercise, you have a variety of different programs, different instructors. I also love, love, love um, Calm. So Calm is a meditation app that I've been using for a few years now. It's great because there's a meditation for anything. It's a great app for kids as well. Another app that I use is Flow. Flow is a women's menstruation cycle app and it's great because it tracks it depends on what you want if you want to get pregnant you can track your pregnancy your fertile days for me it's more of a tracking in terms of my cycle my hormonal changes i think it's really important that we as women pay attention to what time of the month we're at and how that has an effect on our not just our physical um, well-being but also our emotional and um, mental health as well because everything is determined by your cycle. There's a lot of pressure on women to perform 100% capacity all the time. We can be a little bit gentler on ourselves and not feel guilty if you know we don't feel like exercising that moment or we want to have that piece of chocolate. It's okay. I think if we learn to listen to our bodies and get more in tune with what it needs, it's a great way to be more harmonious with yourself. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my video on the top essentials for physical, emotional, and mental well-being during quarantine. I know it's tough, but just making sure that you go into it with a positive mindset and be open to the opportunities that it presents rather than just complaining about it or being absolutely worried or anxious about not having anything to do. On that note, I'm going to have myself some very healthy dinner. Don't forget to make sure that you eat healthy, stay active, move your body, sleep, rest, rejuvenate, and best of luck. Stay safe, everyone.